What's up guys? So in order to make this custom possible, we're gonna need about seven colors and they are fire red, neon lava orange, neon tropical sun yellow, Neon Popsicle Green. Pale Blue. Sapphire. And Grape 5. Next up, let's prep our surface using our Angelus Leather Preparer and Deglazer. Now, one of the most important steps of this custom is properly taping off your shoe. We're working on an all white base, which is pretty terrifying, so we wanna make sure paint doesn't get on any unwanted areas. What I like to do after taping off the midsole is attach pieces of paper over the uppers to avoid any overspray. Once our shoe is taped off and ready to go, we're going to move on to airbrushing. This custom can be done with a paintbrush as well, but color fading is a lot easier with an airbrush in hand. We also want to make sure we have some airbrush cleaner nearby because the gun will need to be cleaned in between colors. Before we start spraying, we need to make sure our colors are evenly spread throughout our shoe. To do this, we're going to mark off our seven sections lightly with a pencil in order to make sure all colors will fit. Once we've sprayed our paint on, the pencil marks will be completely covered. Let's start off with the red. The mixture that you see here is pre-mixed with too thin in order to run properly through our airbrush. Spray light coats within the boundaries of your outline and dry with a heat gun. It's totally fine if the color goes a bit over your border as we want each color to blend together. Next up is our neon orange. It's important to note that the airbrush hasn't been completely cleaned yet. This will help our red and orange color have a better blend. When merging the two colors together, make sure your airbrush is held at a distance. This will create more of a mist than a spray. This is an extremely crucial technique for blending that will make your job a lot easier. The next color in line should be yellow, but we're gonna save it for last. The reason we're doing this is because any other color we spray next to it is gonna mist back onto our yellow and ruin our blend. You'll see later in the video that it's a lot easier blending it in as the last step. With that being said, here's when we need to clean out our airbrush. Since we're going from orange to green, we want a clean brush to continue with. We can do this by wiping out the orange paint and running our airbrush cleaner through our gun. Another good technique for blending your colors together is leaving the edges less saturated than the middle. You're almost creating a pathway to merge two colors together by leaving some excess paint on the sides. Make sure the middle is the most vibrant while the edges stay transparent. Repeat each blending technique to complete the rainbow. The gun won't need to be cleaned in between colors until we go back to yellow. Now that we're done with the rest of the rainbow, let's go back to yellow. It's important to make sure your gun is cleaned before pouring in your color. We can go ahead and spray it multiple coats in between orange and green to finish off the fade. 